everyone, today I decided to do my nail polish collection storage video and I'm super excited to do it because I've seen so many beauty gurus do it and it seems really, really cool. So, um, I don't really have any particular way in storing my nail polish. I just throw it into this big handy box I have and if I can find it where I got it, I will for sure leave it in the description box below. So if you guys want to go and check that out, then be sure to Quickly do it. Before I show you all my nail polishes, I will be showing you the outside and the inside of my storage box. Okay, so first when you open it, there's this um, this latch here, and there was also a lock that came with it, I think, but I don't really find use for the lock because I just keep this box up in my bedroom. And then there's this part that folds out, and um, I like it because I can store lots of different things in here. And right here I keep all my nail polishes. I used to have them all stacked up in order, but I found them too hard to find when I did that, so I just, I just um, leave them like that. And then right here I have my nail tools, like my scoopers and my nail clippers and everything like that. And then up here I have my filers and my nail stencils. So I really like these nail stencils. I'll leave them in the link below. And then up here I also have a mirror. So this could either be used as a makeup storage container or as a nail polish storage container. Okay, keep on watching guys. First, I'll start off by showing you guys all my different colors of nail polish. So first, I have Mischievous by Revlon, and it's a really nice color. I like to use it just for when I don't need a big, bright color on. And then next, I have Orange is Obvious by Essie. I love Essie nail polishes, but they're quite expensive, but they work really nice. And then next, I have China Glaze. And I'm not sure what color this is, but it came in a New Year's pack with also this one, which I love on top of a nail polish if you want something to be sparkly. And then, I don't know who the other ones are, but I'll show them to you when I get them. Okay, and then next I have Lickety Split Lime by Sally Hansen Insta Dry. It's a really nice color, and it, it's just really bright. I like it. Um, and then next I have Velvet Rose by Revlon Colorstay. It's a really nice color and I like to wear it as whenever I wear reds. I usually wear that one. And then after I have Mudslide by Sally Hansen. It's super nice. I love it because it's just a more beigey color than a really bright one. And then after that I have Sa Sally Hansen HD High Definition. I'm not sure what color this is but you'd probably be able to find it in store if you just go to their section. And then next I have Flirt by Revlon. I love this color so much. And I have this one by Revlon too. And it is a pink, sparkly pink. I'm not sure what the color is because I took it off. I don't know why. I used to always do that whenever I got nail polishes. And then next I have Black is Black by Revlon. I think it's nice for Halloween. Or if you just like to wear black nail polish. It's also really nice black. And then next I have this red by Sally. Or no, by Essie. And then next I have this red by Essie, and I love this red too. I usually either wear my Essie nail polish or else I wear my Revlon red color because they're both really nice quality. And then next I have Sally Hansen Diamond Strength um, Fuchsia Bling Bling. This color actually stays on, like it actually doesn't chip, which is really surprising because most of the time non-chip nail polishes usually chip. And then... Next I have Bachelorette Bash by Essie. It's a super nice color and I love it so much during the summer time. And then after that I have Make Mine Mango by Revlon and it's super nice color. I love to wear it. And then I have Sassy by Revlon. This is a super nice green color. And then next I have this color. I really like this but I don't know what who, it by, who it's by. I think I just got it from like one of those packages. And then I have a Smackers Red Nail Polish. This one is super nice. It's really sparkly. Sorry about my dog barking. And then this is the same as the pink. I don't know where I got it from. Next I have this gold color by Hard Candy. And then I have this gold color. And the brand is Fiesta. But I got it from Mexico. So I'm not sure if... I don't know where to get it. And then I have a Claire's color. This is just a mixed one. I got this when I was little. And I have another one here too. 
I don't know. I've never really actually used these because I don't know how they turn out. I don't know how to put them on either. And then next I have an NYC color. I don't know what color this is, but it's really nice. And then I have, this is, here's two of the China Lives ones, the other two that go with the New Year's pack. And I just love these colors. I don't know why, but I really like this one. It's super nice. And then, where is it? Okay. And then I have this color, turquoise and cat, cat, Kai Coast by SC. It's a super nice color. It's really nice for in the summer and even for during the fall and spring time. And then next I have this. This just came with a French manicure set. I don't know what happened to the white one or the see-through layer. So I don't know. I If I find them, I might show them in another video if you guys are interested in that. And then next I have Brisk Blue by Sally Hansen. It's a really nice color. My mom's friend actually got me this one and my green one. So it was really nice of her. And then next I have the Sparkly Smackers color. And then I have LA Colors Green. I don't know what color, what the name is, but you could probably find it. It takes quite a few coats to, coats to get it. It takes quite a few coats to get it to be the color in the bottle, but I don't know. It's, um, it's a really nice color. And then I have this one. I don't even know what it's by or what name it is, but... It's just sparkly. You can probably find a sparkly nail polish anywhere. And then I have a bunch of top coats and everything. I have this Maximum Growth by Sally Hansen. I've never actually used this. I have an SC top coat. This one works really nice, but it's hard. It takes a really long time for it to dry. Like, but it's really, really soft once you get it done. And then I have a quick dry top coat by Revlon. And then I have multi care base and top coat but something got on this I have no clue what it is I think it's just dried nail polish or something and then I have a quick dry base coat I love base coats because they protect your nails and then I have gentle cuticle remover I use this every single time that I do my nails it's so nice because if you don't push back your cuticles they can actually grow over your nails which is really gross but something good to know and then I have a cuticle and nail moisturizer. I use this every single time after I use the cuticle remover. So it's, um, I don't know, it just makes my nails feel less dry. And then also I have this green tea nail strengthener, which I use quite a lot because my nails are very weak. Like, I wish I had strong nails, but I don't. Oh, here it is. This is the other thing for the um, French manicure set. Okay, and now I just have all my nail tools, just a bunch of, um, I have a bunch of different kinds of, um, nail filers. That's the color. I just forgot for a second. And then I have a hanging nail clipper. Be sure to get yourself one of these. They're so nice. I love having it because I get hang nails a lot. So, um, it's, and it's like way better than just like peeling them off because that really hurts if you know what I mean because your nail... Okay, and then I have three different sizes of nail clippers, which I like to have different sizes because they're, I don't know, I just use, I like to use the big ones for my toenails and then I use the smaller ones for my fingernails. And then I just have another nail moisturizer. And then I have two of these scoopers and pusher backers. I think this one just came with a kit that I got once. And this one I am quite positive it's by Revlon and it's a really nice one too so be sure to go and check this out okay thanks for watching guys if you want to see more nail videos like you want to see my nail routine and everything be sure to leave a comment below letting me know and I'll film it okay bye